Hello folks, here's my brand new Rosso Corsa or Ferrari Red Trispade Dehydrator. Very excited about this, I've wanted one for a very long time. So excited I thought I'd stick it on the turntable for you so you can have a look. So the vegetables I'm putting in there is the wild garlic leaves. The other ones are not in season which is the chilies you can see. And there's some shiitake mushrooms and a couple of forest mushrooms from the supermarket. And some supermarket samphire. So these are my vegetables of choice for my test yeah it took a little bit of practice to get those leaves in because they're a bit springy and they kept bouncing back up obviously the samphire sits flat that was nice and easy let's fire it up a few button presses later jobs are good and Right, it's 18 hours later, it's been overnight at 50 degrees, and let's see what this master of desiccation has done for us. Very exciting moment this. Has it dried it or has it not? Whoa. That is crispy. Whoa, look at that. Wow, perfection. I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting perfection, but when you see it in front of your eyes, it's, it's always a surprise. Oh my goodness, look at that. Absolutely spot on. Oh, look. Wow. Yep, that is brilliant. Yep. Well, thank you, Mr. Trispade, or Mrs. Trispade. You have made my day there. So, yeah, there's no half measures. It's just getting your timing right, learning how to use this thing, doing some experimenting. And I think you'll get perfect results every time get to know your vegetable. I love the sound of that. That literally wants to turn to dust. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I'm gonna chop some, uh, I've got all these chilies. I'm gonna slice and dice them. We want 68 degrees for chilies. Cool. Time. I say hours. We want 18 hours. 16. All right, jumps to 20. Righto. L4, that's the fastest fan speed. That's what I want, so keep that. So that's flashing. So if I press it again, it should start. Let's see what happens. Hallelujah. Here we go. End of the chili cycle. Box is still warm. Should we have a look? Let's see what it's brought us. Ooh, very dry chilies. Well, I must say, yeah, I'm, I'm just ever so slightly impressed about the results from this machine. And that samphire, I mean, you can hardly see it. It's almost disappeared. I had a little taste and um, it blows your head off. It, the concentration of the samphire is um, absolutely outrageous. I recommend um, dehydrating samphire for sure. The wild garlic leaves are just like nori, absolutely pungent with umami. Back in the kitchen, it's time to blitz this stuff. I use my smoothie maker, make short work of it. As you can see, those mushrooms didn't stand a chance in there. Beautiful. The smell is fantastic. 
I mean, shiitake is not the most pungent mushroom, but that um, that will be lovely added to a risotto or, or many things, really. Those leaves, yeah, give them a bash. But this, those, you can't underestimate these um, smoothie makers. They're, they're absolutely brilliant blenders for all sorts. You can see you didn't get much powder out of all those leaves. And that's the essentials collection. So I could imagine this machine in a restaurant or a, maybe a fancy cafe where these sorts of produce is used all the time. There's nothing um, domestic or amateur about this device. It works really, really well. Highly recommend the Trispade dehydrator. So until next time, I think the next video you'll see from me will be about a van. Yes, we bought a van and I'm going to convert it. So until next time, bye for now.